everybody, my name is Puppeting from the Geeky Puppet Show here on the Geeky Puppet Show today for what? For what? For Daredevil, yes, once again. And uh, well, before we get into this fantastic issue, 179 to be exact, let's go ahead and meet our cast and crew. If you look at him, you can see the frog himself, our little Daredevil. It is Froggy. Three, two, one. Yeah. Feel like a big frog, don't you? I'm frog on comics. What's going on? <laughs> yeah, and if you look right below the frog, uh, you have to look before the tree, though, because the tree won't die. I'm not gonna kill it just because you wanted to die. It's Muranya. Good evening, everyone. And now I think it's time to go ahead and show this fantastic book. A oh. short and sweet little crew for a not so short and sweet little book, but a good one. When I was a boy, I had a 10-speed racer. Mm -hmm. Now I'm old. I have a car. Welcome to Daredevil. But I don't have this book yet. What a crime. had to win. Your mother. Stanley presents Spiked. Frank Miller. Klaus Johnson. Denny O'Neill. Joe Rosen. And, of course, Jim Shooter. I'm sorry, honey. Just uh, put the casserole in the fridge and we'll have it tomorrow, okay? No, don't wait up. This could take a while. It's a woman. Are you sure it's a woman? Or it's Japanese, I don't know. Okay. Anytime <laughs> this week, mister. I know I promised to come home early tonight. But I just got a lead on a really important story. The chair, I think. Cherry thing. I've heard it both ways. Honey, I have to go now. Sorry. I love you. Bye. No smoking. Too bad. In this dive? Okay. Okay. You're late. You missed the best part. Things just blowed up real good. You brought the money? I brought it. Two bills. But first, we talk. Sure, sure. Just hope you appreciate the chance I'm taking. If the fat man knew I was here. That'd be cold meat. Twenty eighteen Marvel characters in call races. Are, oh wait, sorry. Mab's got much rubber De Niro invested in that chair. Or cherry, heard it both ways. You know that guy, Pink Bucks, and they. Oh. Oh God. Hello, my baby. Hello, my darling. Your friend is dead, Mr. Yorick. Move or speak, and you will join him. In several weeks, the people of New York City will elect a new mayor. He will be Randolph Winston. Chera, or Cherry, goes both ways. And as mayor, he will serve the interests of my employer. So when did Electra become Russian? That's what I don't know. Well, she's supposed to have an accent. He's white. Doesn't mean she can't. Is it really wise to have this conversation at the back of a movie theater? You will do nothing to stop. You will cease your investigation of Chera and of his commitments to organized crime. You will sit now and watch the movie. You will think about how very vulnerable you are. Yeah, but it's The Last Jedi. No one wants to watch that. <laughs> 
This is she's got he's got a point. My dead friend has a very good point. The other guy just took the point. And now they're cuddling. My uh, name is Ben Yurik. I'm a reporter. And this is my story. The cops ask all their usual questions. I answer them the best I can. But I'm still shaking. Three hours later, and the shadows no longer seem empty in my office at the New York Daily Bugle. I decide to call Matt Murdoch. Matt? Ben, I need your help. I need it now. Let me tell you about Matt Murdock. It's one of my better pieces. He's blind. Oh. But he starts with a studious young boy who was struck across the eyes by a unique radioactive isotope. He was blinded, but the radiation mutated his nerve centers amplifying his remaining senses to superhuman levels. Matt went on to become one of the nation's most prominent attorneys, but some inner drive for justice compelled him to fight crime on the street and make this town a bit safer for people like you and me. Like I said, one of my better pieces. Great copy. Pulitzer Prize material, but I'll never see print. Maybe I'll pull the Matt Murdock story out of my files once in a while. Think about that, Pulitzer. But I won't blow his cover. It's worth too much to me to know that in this city where crime and corruption are as thick as roaches in last week's garbage, there's one man like Daredevil. Ben, you've got to stop smoking those cigarettes. They'll kill you. But Mr. Breen looks so cool when he's doing it. <laughs> and stop the drinking. I can hear the rattling of ice cubes. My super hearing is driving me nuts. Bad choice of words, Matt. I've just been threatened by some killer broad who's working for the kingpin. Is she hot? Describe her. <laughs> well, I didn't get a look at her. She had a weird accent, though. Wait, that way. But then, a visual description wouldn't do you much good, would it? Uh, yeah, 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 that's why I said describe, not don't tell me what she looks like. You don't just say, like, uh, what she, uh, feels like. But not much. I guess. What about her voice? She had an accent. European. Mediterranean, I think. And she had a weapon. It was like a big fork. About this lo Oh. Uh, about two feet long. Electra! Electra. You know her? No, I just wanted to say that name twice. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, you know. I knew her years ago. We meant a great deal to each other. You uh, sure know how to pick them, don't you? She's not the woman I fell in love with. Not anymore. She's a mercenary. A cold-blooded killer. And if she's operating in my city... Oh, I got spacers in my ears. That's weird. Ages. It's up to me to stop her. Will you be able to? No, I'm just saying this to help make you feel better. But Matt? Yes, I pulled a Batman. Gone. It's his favorite trick. Just like Batman. He, he learned it from a fella named Batman. <laughs> Three cups of coffee into the next morning, I get a phone call from the man himself. Randolph Winston Chera. Cherry. Heard it both ways. Candidate for mayor. I meet him at a midtown muscle factory. An era of national renewal, Mr. Yurik. To meet our destiny, we must be fit. We must have healthy minds. 
and healthy bodies. Yeah, well. Oh, look at that one. You're a mess, Yarek. Just look at you. Ten minutes without a cigarette. And you're coughing your lungs out. <laughs> it's been twenty minutes. You tend to ramble. Well, that's because I was formerly played by Eric Bree. <laughs> but, uh, how old are you, Yurik? Forty. You'll never make fifty if you don't take care of yourself. And you'll never make forty-one if you don't smarten up. Do you understand what I'm saying, Yurik? You hear that, gentlemen? You hear the councilman threaten me? But I never expected you to say it in front of witnesses. Oh, well, I said that in the wrong order. We heard him give you some good advice, Yorick. You need an intensive program of physical exercise. So let's get started. Oof! Talk to the hand. But be careful not to stir your purse. Try something light, like 400 pounds. Come on, Yerrick. Stretch those biceps. No, no. Please. I can't breathe. Oh. Mind if I cut in? But he didn't actually say that. I just did. But it didn't tap that window. Cling. He's hefty 400 is 100 like it was 50. So stop him, Arnie. He's violating our civil rights. Come on, I'll do what I want to. No. Oh, crap. Get this thing off me, Arnie. Relax. Should sure, anything better than miss messing with him? <laughs> Thanks, DD. I really thought it was all over back there. Shh. Beautiful. Tara is on the phone with the kingpin, shouting so loudly that I hardly need my super sensitive. <laughs> And here I thought he was a gentleman. He's setting up a meeting tomorrow at a cafe in Little Italy. Guess you put a scare in him. Hmm. Matt, this is just what we've been waiting for. All we need is pictures of Chera, Cherry. Heard it both ways in the kingpin. I heard that the one way. Right, then the oh no! As Matt Murdock. I'm doing court tomorrow. No way I can skip the hearing. <laughs> there will be other chances, Ben. Why will to you hear from me? Don't do anything stupid. I never heard a man talk like that before. <laughs> so I'm stupid. So sue me. I will. After after four hours of sitting and staring at the restaurant, my stomach is growling so loudly, it will blow my cover. I haven't heard anything this loud since I walked by Jameson's office earlier this morning. Then I get lucky. A limo pulls up to the curb and a man steps from it. No, that's not a man. A seven foot, 500 pound Hulk. Not the Hulk, but a Hulk. It's him. The big man. The lord and master of organized crime from New York to Tampa Bay. Click. The kingpin. Click. Twenty minutes pass while I think about how a Pulitzer Prize would look on my desk. I try not to think about how I'd look on a slab. Then Chera, Cherry, both ways, arrives. 
In my mind, I'm polishing my pulse. I'm ready to leave when I catch a commotion out of the corner of my eye. Somebody's trying to push herself through the window. Some derelict, crazy old bag lady. Or is it? Money for food, food for money. Yurik's first law of journalism. If it's not supposed to be there, it's a lead. Maybe it'll take you to the story of a lifetime. Or maybe it'll just take you to the subway. Or you can meet Jared. Yurik's second law of journalism. When in doubt, whip it out. No, take a picture. A bag lady. Just a lousy, smelly bag lady. I was expecting maybe royalty. She scrambles away and leaves me sitting in the sewage. Oh well. Anything to further the holy cause of the fourth estate. Too bad my wife doesn't see it that way. We can't go on like this, Ben. You're killing yourself. Shh. It's not like that, honey. I'm talking from in the shower. It's just that this story is so important. So was the last one, Ben. And the one before that. I hardly ever see you anymore. Are you avoiding me? Is that it? Avoiding you? Honey, please don't be silly. I just want to get us out of this roach trap of an apartment. Get us that house in Westchester. If you'd just be with me more, that's all I want. I don't mean to nag, but stop that! I'm serious! Tickles! Staying home tonight? Wild horses couldn't drag me away. Or the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders. Look, is that the Kingpin? <laughs> oh, well, he might. Ring! Yeah. Yeah, it's me. What? Where? I, I'll be there in 20 minutes. I cab it to a Times Square diner. I can feel the rage radiating off of my wife. <coughs> Still smoking those weeds, eh, buddy boy? But your lungs look like something died in them. Well, let me tell you something, uh... <laughs> Let me tell you something, Mr. Adams. Don't let it make you bitter. What have you got? Your mother. Clean lungs, pink as a baby's bottom. Also a tip for you that's worth three pills easily. You see, Chera, Shara, Sherry, or Cherries, I've heard it always now. Mm -hmm. Got himself a lady, a secret lady. Meets twice a week in the hotel across the way. Just to work up tension, you know? Anyway, he talks to her about his marriage, his job, his everything. And she's maybe willing to talk to you. Maybe willing? Maybe. So I said to myself, what I got to lose? Maybe. Dead ever. Back off, Red. I slice you and dice you. Gee, you ever heard this before? Oh, yeah. Dark Knight Returns. Suddenly, every small time operator in town is bursting with news about Shara or Cherry or Shara's. I have no idea. Anyway, they're talking about his secret lady. 
Which means either the Kingpin's been very, very sloppy, which he isn't, or he wants us to go into that hotel. Which means it's a trap, probably filled with men and guns. And it's probably it's no smoking, so it'll be good for you. Ugh. There goes the spaghetti. Sit tight, Ben. I'll check it out. Sure. I'm no hero. On we go. Subtle, he is oh. not. The whack. What? Chug, chug. More like a one man SWAT team. Look. Bam, bam. Whoa. Then, abruptly. There you go. There's silence. Don't do this to me, Matt. Come to the window. Tell me everything's okay. You want me to hold your Matt? hand, too? No, I want you to just come to the damn window. Oh, gosh! Happy now? Grace. <laughs> I don't recognize the lady's face. But her sticker? That I've seen before. In the theater. She's the Kingpin's chief assist assassin. Assistant? Assassin. Electra. Kating. Lovers turned enemies. Battling for the fate of an entire city. Love is in there. Talk mm -hmm. about your great copy. Three flights up. I'm wheezing. My chest is a blast furnace. Lousy cigarettes. They'll be the death of me. I'm sure they won't. Huh. Ah. You never know what they were to each other unless you saw their faces and glimpsed pain and anger far more personal than it should be. Is that all or how am I? He doesn't want this. I can tell. He wants to hold her, to kiss her, to caress her. I want to kiss you while no of her baby. She's not going to see it. Please stop singing. I'm trying to have my little monologue here. To make oh, I'm every... sorry. I didn't know it was your turn. To make every part of her soft and loving. Um... Oh. oh, she hit my soft spot. Thwack. Hawk. Enough case there for that. Good night, Sally. Shh. Or Shrek. 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 <laughs> Electra, you force me. Smack. Papa Spake. No, I have tricked you. Trapped you. Crump. Snap. Snap. Oh. oh, God, no. Oh. Bear trap. Oh, bear. Bad bear trap. Be grateful that I did not set that trap to sever your foot. I would have, but then you would not be so completely immobilized. So utterly helpless. What a bitch. Gil Kane knows, by the way. Shrek. Shrek again. With the right amount of capes for Zach. There are a couple of those. Electra! Ooh. That's a brick house. She's my tomate. <coughs> and I'll hang out. <coughs> oh, no. Oh, snap, he's dead. Yep. That, 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 Just kidding. And this is when you had to wait another month to find out if he's dead. Oh, snap. Lousy oh. cigarettes. Next issue, The Damned. Wow. And 
that is the end. Rather short, rather sweet. I think this might be our shortest reading in a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, but with that in mind, we want to go ahead and put this little ticker up to say thank you so much for watching we hope you enjoyed our little reading here and uh if you did make sure to comment down below also make sure to like and subscribe helps out the channel a lot check out the ko-fi if you can and i think that's about it so thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time bye bye all right now let's read the next one